here I am filling out my weekly uh, days. I'm starting with Sunday. And for some reason, I like um, writing everything in small letters in cursive. I just like how it looks. So my J's are always in small. My S's are in small. And so I'm just here adding the days of the week. And uh, January, whatever the date is. So it's just me filling this out and day by day. And I realized at some point that I had put eight um, days or eight boxes instead of seven. So the bottom box, I will be um, splitting it into two sections. One is going to be for notes and the other one is going to be coming events maybe for the next week and stuff like that. So the, right here is where I realized that I have more boxes than what I actually needed. Sometimes with bullet journaling you just got to go with the flow and enjoy the process and don't get so caught up with all the little tiny details that make things imperfect. Because if you wanted a perfect planner, then you would just go to the store and buy one that's already pre-made. So I'm just coming up to my week with Saturday. And I struggle a little bit in this next little bit with my space and my workspace with trying to put the ruler there and the notes and stuff like that. You'll see me struggle just a little bit. And yeah, we're coming up to the end of this one. The next part I'll show you little tiny doodles that I have added to kind of go along with my theme. So there it is. There's my week. Can't really see all of it. And now I'm just filling in uh, the dates and what needs to get put in there. I haven't really done much. So I'm starting out with a mason jar. It's a little bit of a squish one. So you start with an oval at the top and little M's on the side and then you just bring them down like a big N or a U, upside down you and then you just make a curved bottom and to make it look 3d I add in the inside this is a really simple little doodle to add different elements to your bullet journal or your artwork in general or cards or letters I'm just making diamond shaped looking leaves I put maybe five to six five, four, I don't know how many I put on each little branch. And you just kind of put them in a diamond shape, kind of let them go all over, not be too concerned about it as, you know, doodling is just simply that. It's not per perfect. And it just adds a little bit of character to your pages. And so then right up in the Saturday spot, I decided I was going to add one of my other little pictures and it is going to be a book with a cup of tea on top of it or a cup of coffee. I'm a tea drinker so for me I tend to draw tea. And so to draw the mug you just draw an oval kind of like a squished oval and then you bring it down to kind of round it off and then you just add a simple handle. Doodles don't have to be fancy or detailed. They're just something to add a little bit. In this next shot, I will be watercoloring um, them. Now, my paper in this bullet journal is not um, the best for watercoloring, but I don't really care about the crinkle paper. So I have a little water brush that enables me to just paint on the go and I'm using green and red as my main colors 
what's great about this water brush is because you don't have to worry about water because it's in the barrel of the brush, you can take it on the go with you. You can take it if you go to a coffee shop. You can take it, um, use it like here. And this is one of my favorite ones because the water doesn't completely rush out. Some of them I find they rush out really fast and so you can't control the water. So I just chose like, it looks almost like a dark green, has a little bit of blue in it to do my leaves. And I take a red color and I do the book up top. And then I color the mug in a, in like a mousy gray color. And there, there's not much to it. It's just giving me a little bit of color into my bullet journal. Colors make me happy. So here I am just adding a little bit of detail to the, the book and the mug. Just going over it with a little bit of gray and just trying to add a little bit to it. Nothing special. I try to keep up with a color scheme um, during my months. You can't see it, but I'm actually coloring in the mason jar um, with the same gray color and add just a little bit of blue to it. Oh, there we go. So I've put it back into uh, the screen. So I'm just adding a little bit of coloring, just to add it to make it look more like a jar. And that that's my week. You see up in the, the corner that I've just done a weekly little calendar and I've highlighted the week that I'm on. There's my weekly spread. And now I am going through the book or the my setup. So hello, 2023. I decided to do something really simple. So right here is my future log where I'm gonna do all my planning and I have done it up to the end of the year. I will not, this uh, bullet journal will not survive till the end of the year. So here are my goals. Um, they're gonna be hard to see. So on there, I have a simplified life, a simplified home. I want to read more, less TV, draw more. I used to blog, so I want to, um, start blogging again. I want to try not to spend as much on art supplies. I want to read my Bible daily. And for me, goals are a lot easier to maintain than resolutions. Drink more water, read more. So it all has to do with where I'm putting my priority. So here's my title page for January. You can see my little plants in mason jars and my book and my cup of tea and I just made the January sign just to look like um just like it's it's up on a on a sticky note so each month I like to plan my month out in this vertical space it's easier for me to write down lists it doesn't leave me much for actually planning but just it's easier for me to maintain what I want to do so I do a vertical one instead of like the traditional calendar. And I like to come up with uh, highlights of my day. So things that make me smile, things that I wanna remember, maybe something happened that day. And just little things that to make my day, to find the joy in the ordinary. Once again, I have like a little tiny calendar at the bottom that's just to kind of keep me focused and let me know where I'm at. I haven't done a habit tracker in a while, and so I filled one out. Some of the spots are empty. If they're empty, it means I did not do them. Reading books and less TV has been a struggle, but you know what, it's a new week, and I'm excited to see the progress that I'm gonna be making over the next month. And now we're back to my weekly layout and that that's it. If you have any questions, let me know and we will totally see if we can get you started on this. Have a great day.